Hello, Dr. Joe here of the ask.joe.org and the 2020 forum.com. So, if you sense cold or flu coming on and you've done all the right things, making sure your vitamin D levels are optimal and you've kept yourself warm, like I've got this neck warmer on, and you still have this flu coming through because the virus is very stubborn, what should you do? Well, the first thing you want to do is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this very video because uh, it's been working for me lately. It's something that I started doing and uh, it appears to be working. So I want to share it with you. So what is it then? Let's go check it out. Yes. So what I have been doing is using a combination of herbs and spices to make tea. Okay. I make tea and uh, this appears to work. Once I sense, you know, cold or flu coming on, I start making this tea and I consume it on a daily basis and uh, it tends to reduce the intensity as well as the duration of the attack. Sometimes it just blows it away uh, within a day or two. So it works and uh, is certainly worth a shot for you, okay? So in front of me here, I've got an array of herbs and spices. We're not gonna be using all of, all of this, so do not be scared. Uh, we're just gonna need three plus one, okay? Three plus one. And, uh, and then it's sweetener as well to just help with the taste. That's all we need. So three plus one, what are the three ingredients that we need, the three main ingredients that we need? Well, um, here's one of them, uh, turmeric, okay? We're gonna need turmeric. So let's put that aside here. Okay, we're gonna need the turmeric. What else? Well, we're gonna need ginger, ginger powder. Now, you can also use fresh ginger if you have access to fresh ginger that will equally work okay so fresh ginger or ginger powder so uh, that's ginger there ingredient number three will be this one here cinnamon okay cinnamon so we're going to need cinnamon and those are the three main ingredients that we need okay the cinnamon the turmeric and the ginger powder now the problem with turmeric is that it is poorly absorbed, okay? Only about 20 to 30% of turmeric is absorbed from the gut. So, to improve the absorption potential of the turmeric, we are going to need one more ingredient, and that's why I say it's plus one. You don't have to use it, but it helps. And that's this one here, black pepper, okay? Black pepper, uh, this one is ground. Uh, so we're going to need that. That is the plus one. And then, of course, you just add the sweetener. The sweetener is optional. It's optional. You don't have to use it. But I tend to use it because I need a bit of pleasure. Okay? I don't want it to make it look like I'm drinking something that is so much of too herbal, if you like, you know? So um, that's it. Let's make the tea. Let's make the flu-busting tea. So, I take the teaspoon off. Um, the thing we're gonna do now is, of course it's tea, so you need hot water. So I've got in here hot water, boiled earlier on, it's still steaming hot, actually. So, we add that into, you know, an eight to 10 ounce glass or cup, all right? So, you just need about eight to 10 ounces of water. Let's start adding the ingredients. So the first one we're gonna add is the ginger. And how much of the ginger do we need? Well, we need a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoonful, okay? We need a teaspoonful, not tablespoonful, okay? So a teaspoonful of the ginger, teaspoon goes in. So that's the ginger powder, it's gone in. Let's seal this. Put that aside. Next to go in will be the turmeric. How much turmeric do we need? Also, a teaspoonful of turmeric. Okay, let's get it in there. Uh, okay, teaspoonful. Add it, okay. That's gone in, turmeric has gone in teaspoonful. Next to go in will be the cinnamon. 
How much cinnamon? Just a quarter or half a teaspoon, okay? You don't need a lot. Just about a quarter or half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Those are the three main ingredients in the tea already. So now the one that is going to provide the helping hand and that is the black pepper. So gram black pepper. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing by the way. Let me move this aside. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. So black pepper. Um, let's add half a teaspoon full. Okay. Half a teaspoon. <laughs> Not half a teaspoon full. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. Half a teaspoon of black pepper has gone in there. Basically, that is the tea. That's the flu busting tea that we've got there. Okay. So you can drink it as it is now. However, like I said, you know, we just need a bit of pleasure in our lives. Even if we're doing something like this, it's nice to just uh, give it a bit of taste. So it doesn't taste too heavy. So in here, I've got uh, date syrup. This is date syrup. And you can use just a teaspoon full of it. And probably another half so I'll add another half but a teaspoon is probably okay but I you know sometimes I just add another half that's it so next thing we're gonna do now is stir just stir our tea combination nice Herbal tea, spicy, stir it together. And by the way, when you're drinking it, you're gonna keep stirring it because that's the only way you're gonna avoid the sediments at the bottom, okay? Uh, keep stirring it, you know, before you take any sip. Very important because uh, some of you might be saying, oh, you tend to have a lot of sediment at the bottom of the cup. Well, keep stirring. Uh, before you take a sip, just stir. That way you whip up the sediments into the mixture. Okay, so let's just have a taste then and see what uh, it does feel like. Ah, beautiful. As you'll expect, the, the flavor of the ginger is there. It's a little bit it overpowers all the others but you get a hint of the cinnamon um, and of course the turmeric you probably won't taste it um, it's, it's, it's overpowered by the ginger flavor um, and of course as expected it's also spicy it's quite hot okay and it's nice and especially you know when you're feeling cold as well it gives you that nice warm feeling and it warms your cockles from inside out and that's the beauty of this very tea. So this is my flu busting uh, tea and uh, you just need it. Have it on a regular basis as in, um, you know, you take it for about a week, usually within about two to three days, your, uh, the, the signs of flu or cold will be gone. It's as simple as that, seriously. That's how, how good it is. So um, this is it, this is it. Um, have a go at it and then um, let me know what you think um, hopefully you got some value from this very video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends your family with your colleagues if you've got any questions any comments regarding the content of this very video presentation you go ahead leave your comments or questions down below by the way if you've had something similar do let me know right down in the comment section uh, or any other combination that has worked for you as well. I would like to know in the comment section. So, that's it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe Siding. 
out.